All right, the final piece. So you've gone through the lesson, both the short version or the long version. You watch the movies, you've answered the questions, you've done some gizmos and simulations, and now you get to the activities. So remember, there are two activities you can work on. One of them, you are going to learn all about lactose and lactase and why humans can, you know, why do we drink milk? Seems odd that we're drinking cow milk. I want you to look at this anticipation guide. It's in your Google Doc. You're going to answer the questions. So this before column, you recall, you true or false. And after you've watched the movie, you come back and you say, is it true or is it false based on your understanding after watching the movie? The movie is, um, how long is it? I can't remember how long it is. It's 14 minutes. And once you're done, if you're doing the long version of the lesson, then you can come back to each one of the statements that are listed in the anticipation guide, and you can write a sentence or two to justify the, um, the response for the movie. If you're doing the short version, just skip over that. Right? Even if you're doing the long version, you can still skip over that. So you're going to click on this link. When you click on that link, you'll get to the movie. So you play it. It's 15 minutes long. And then to summarize the important things from the movie, I've written them in red or I've highlighted them in red. And then there's other things that are nice to know. Okay. As you watch the movie, um, you're going to get some learning and then you should be able to answer these questions. So there's several questions. Some of them are multiple choice and then some of them are short answer. Okay. So these questions here, you should be able to answer from watching the movie. You're not submitting this. This is just to give you a better understanding of, of uh, microevolution, mutation, selection pressures, all that stuff that's from this lesson. Okay. So that is the first activity. In the second activity, if you are doing the short or long version of this, then um, everyone's, I would encourage you to do the module one. So this is a lizard lab, and we normally don't do this in school, but this is great for the online learning, distance learning that we're doing. So you'll click on this link, and it will open up a page that looks like this. You might have to click a button to activate something, but it will look like this. And over here under, under the save button, You'll see a little button for the Google Classroom so you can sign in and you can save your work. So that way, when you come back next week and three week, two weeks from now, you'll, you'll be able to go back to your work. Because there's some things in here that are a little tedious and you don't want to do it over and over again. The introduction explains to you what the modules are about. And what you're going to do is I'm going to start over because I want to work with you guys so you can see what to do. So here are your models, right? Module one to four. There's typically some kind of video with most of the modules. You can watch it. They're typically like a minute long or something like that. And the movie's focused on these very interesting lizards. What is that do lap about? Right? When you're ready to start, you can click on module one. So for everybody, short and long, I'm suggesting that you do module one. You read through the information. Click continue when it tells you to. I'm just going to work through the first little part just to help you understand what to do. So the first part, you're grouping the lizards based on any kind of pattern. It could be legs, it could be color, it could be where they're found. I'm just randomly moving them around in different spots. Once you've done that, then I'm going to select a label and I grab the label and I put it towards the appropriate lizards. Right? So these are the labels I can use. So you decide what you want to use. So that's just organizing. The next thing you're going to be doing is you're going to measure the lengths of these lizards. So you follow the instructions and it says you'll need to measure x-rays for six and count topad lamella for just two. So if I look at any one of these here, look at this one here, it says x-ray and toe. So I'm going to click on this. I can zoom to see a little bit more information and if you're not sure what the information is asking you you can always click on the tutorial and the tutorial will give you more information about how to count and what you're counting and how to measure okay um, another thing that you'll be looking at is measurement so to measure is pretty straightforward what you do is you click so let's say it says hind limb length here I'm going to click at the beginning of the limb and I click again I click again Again, each time I click, I get the measurement, and then I click cord measurement, it tells me the number. 
it says body length, I'll get a different color. So I'll start from here, go to here, I click several times. Like I said, if you don't save your work doing this every single time, you get a little tedious. Record measurement. And finally, the last one, tail length alone. And you might get slightly different numbers depending on where you click, but they'll all be generally the same. It'll allow you to analyze the measurements and see if there's some evolution occurring. Right, so I'm done, save and continue. And I move on to the other one. So I'm doing all eight. Once you finish that module, then you're going to continue following the instructions. So there's module one, two, three, and four. So for those of you doing the short version, work through module one. And the truth is, if you're just doing the short version, just kind of you know, do one or two to get a feel for it. You'll miss the back end of it, but it's not that big a deal. And in module three, you'll be doing some analysis of the data. So for those of you doing the full lesson, do module one and module three. Module two and module four we'll be doing next week or the following week. And that's how the lizard lab works. So once you finish that, just bring, come back to your Google Doc, take some notes down, put down what you think is important. On Friday, I'll put down a quizzes. Well, actually, I'll probably put a quizzes a little bit earlier for anyone who finishes earlier. And then there'll be a little quiz in D12 or somewhere to see if you've collected any information. All right.